my name is Mary Casillas and I am an associate with the organization TalkSTEM. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, map quests. What are some different questions we can answer using a map? Did you know that a map has many math and art elements in it? Every map you see. And the math and the art have to work together to make sure you get the information you need. Have you ever come across a map that maybe the legend or the key was hard to read? Maybe the scaling was off. Then we can't get the information we need to get where we need to go. We have a map of the Dallas Arts District. This is artist created. And we're gonna ask some questions about this map today. So question number one, which building is closer to Clive Warren Park? Number two, is building four, seven, 10, or 13 closer to building number two? Question number two, which building is farthest from building number 16? Number two, number 13, number seven, or number nine? Question number three, if you're standing at number three and you have a friend that's standing at number seven by the Pegasus sculpture and you wanna to walk to them, what is the shortest path you can take? Use your finger on the screen to trace the path you would take. Question number four. Which street crosses with Olive Street? St. Paul Street, Ross Street, or Jack Evans Street? Question number five. Can you tell which building is the Perot Museum of Nature and Science? I'll give you a hint. The building is a cube with a diagonal window staircase on the outside. Great job. So just in a couple minutes, your brain did a lot of math very quickly to decide the answer of those questions we just went over. We invite you to find a map in your home and ask similar questions. Also, you could get some paper and some drawing utensils and make your own map. Can you draw a map of your home, maybe your neighborhood or the playground? Share with us online what you create. 